Hi, I'm Stephen from Not Just Cables. Today I'm just doing a bit of a tutorial on link aggregation. Um, link aggregation is when a server or PC can utilize multiple network cards on a network um, as one link as such, or one interface. Um, FreeNAS 9.10, as you can see on the screen in front of you, um, is what I'm using to do that. It already has that capability built in. So there's um, a lot of survey technology. Uh, switches and stuff have it built in as well. In this case, um, if you are looking at doing link, link aggregation, you will need a switch that's got smart capability or it's um, layer 3 network manageable, that sort of thing. Um, in my case, I'm using a Cisco SLM2024 smart switch. It's a sort of small business, um, home business type uh, Cisco device. It's not a high end switch by any means. Um, okay, so the only reason that you would look at doing link aggregation on your network is if you were having. Uh, issues on your network maybe, uh, maybe you're having problems, well, for example in my case I'm, I'm streaming media across the network. So if you're streaming media across the network and then decide that you want to go copy files on another PC to your same server that you're streaming the media from, you might end up having problems with um, I don't know, the, the movie pausing or, or being jerky or, or just not playing nicely really. So um, in that scenario Link aggregation can be quite good because it enables uh, the other PC that's copying files to, to utilize another interface on the network. Now, link aggregation will not speed up your uh, individual PCs copying files to your network. I mean, that speed's always going to be the same, but it will allow multiple PCs to, to um, share simultaneous files and so on and not cause interference and things for the other PCs on the network. Um, so the first thing I'll do is I'll just log into my FreeNAS server. Um, we just click log in here. So you come across a, obviously you'd be familiar with FreeNAS already if you're looking at this tutorial. If not, and you're looking at installing it, well you have your your main screen. It just has all your details and so on. Um, the next step is to click on network, and then click on interfaces underneath. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I've set up a temporary interface previously that I was just wanting to show you. Um, this interface is on a different subnet than what I normally use. I normally use uh, 192.168.1 subnet. We're currently on uh, the .2 subnet. So um, also, obviously, to connect to this, I've set up my PC on the on the uh, .2 subnet as well. So if we have a look in here, so we've got 2.15 currently on my on my machine. Um, so the next thing, just click link aggregation and then add link aggregation. So the protocol type in this case, in this uh, tutorial, we're using LACP. Um, some switches support all different um, link aggregation protocols and so on. Uh, not sure that switch I actually have does support anything else other than LACP. So the next step is to select all your interfaces that you want to add into that um, link aggregation interface. So in my case I've got three remaining ones. Um, I will be adding the fourth one in later on. I'll go through that step as well. But just click OK for now. Uh, and you can see there you've got your link interface set up. Um, it's got your first three network interfaces in there. And next thing you want to do is go down the bottom and click Edit. Now in this one you can you can change the name of that if you want to. In my case I'll just leave that as um, lag zero. Um, there's nothing else you really need to tick in here. Uh, the next step is to type in an IP address. As stated earlier, my default IP address on my FreeNAS server was normally 1.254. Um, so I'll, I'll change that to 192.168.1.254. And I need to get a net mask, which will just be a standard 24-bit net mask. So we'll go which is just your standard 255, 255, 2550. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to set up. So just the name, the IP address, and the net mask. And if you scroll down to the bottom of this, click OK. We've now saved the settings for that link aggregation. So if we go edit again on that, you'll see the settings have saved. You can just exit out of that one for now and go back to interfaces. Now, if you are wanting to add the fourth network interface onto that same link aggregation port um, 
there's no reason why you wouldn't want to unless you want to have a different port on your network just purely for administering the the um, FreeNAS server or something like that I guess or maybe you had a different link to something else but anyway in my case um, it's just I'm just going to delete this interface here for now so um, just highlight it delete the interface and click OK now at this point you'll lose communication with the FreeNAS server because you've just deleted your primary administration interface so the next step is to go to your network properties and change this to the IP address range or the subnet range that you um, have, have just set your FreeNAS server to click OK, OK again and give it a few seconds once everything comes right, we'll be able to log back into the FreeNAS server on the new IP that we've set up. So it's currently, um, as you can see, if I move this over and getting a ping request back, and the old one is now timing out. So uh, basically, just go back to your web interface, change the IP address, and hit enter, log back in. It should sometimes it asks to log back in other times it just continues on um, either either you can do whatever you need to to get back on right so if you go back to link and in, uh, interfaces sorry under network you can see there's only one interface here now so we need to go back to link aggregation you highlight the interface lag zero and you go edit members now you need to go up the top again go add link aggregation now the lag interface we've only got one set up so there's only one to select so lag zero priority number now that comes in here where you look on you've got um, lag priority numbers so interface um, zero one and two so far so they've got priority zero one and two so the next one will just be three so that's priority three interface um, three which is actually interface four and then put in your option which in this case you just type in up um, just make sure the interface is, is in an up state once it um, reboots in a minute so then you click OK and it's added the fourth interface in so you've got four interfaces now on the LACP um, interface basically now that's just your priority and all the state of all the interfaces is pretty much in the up state at the moment now the next step is to reboot the server so I'll do that now um, I'll just pause the video because it does take a couple of minutes to reboot so um, once it comes back online I'll continue uh, this video so just hold on a second okay so you can see that our um, servers come back online um, if we just do a refresh on the web page we should get back to our login screen I've also given it a couple of minutes just to make sure all the interfaces have come online and everything's working okay because that can cause problems later on when you set up the link aggregation on the um, network switch so um, I'll just go ahead and log back in to the um, FreeNAS server so there we go and if you just go back to network and interfaces you just see there's one interface there um, and like I said before you can see all the uh, network cards, so the four network cards on that. So the next step is we go onto our switch um, and we log in there. This isn't the fastest switch in the wor world as far as management goes. So it does actually take a couple of seconds to, um, well, quite a few seconds to come up with the interface to, to manage it. So there we go. Um, on here you can see all the current ports etc that are in use on the switch the first four are actually the ports that have connected and hardwired and patched etc to my FreeNAS server which is in another room um, I've actually got a quad faceplate four network ports um, wired through to my um, network location where the switch is um, on these you should see that the speed on those is at maximum um, I've got it at gigabit um, now link aggregation also is something you'd only do obviously if you didn't want to spend a lot of money on um, 
well there's other ways to do it obviously like fiber links or uh, 10 g cards now 10 gigabit cards so there's those options as well but obviously they're still pretty pricey so this is a a i suppose cheaper way of doing it um the the these sort of switches like this the cisco um slm2024 it's not an overly pricey switch compared to some of them i mean there's plenty of other switches out there but anyway um if you go into port management on this one the next thing you'll see under that is link aggregation um, your switch may be different if you're using uh, i don't know maybe a links switch or some other brand of switch that's capable of doing link aggregation obviously all the setup will be different and you may even have more options to do with the link aggregation than what's available on this particular switch um, in this case i'm just going to call this link aggregation um, freeness um, i'm using lacp so i'm just going to tick lacp and then select the ports in this case we've got the first four ports on the switch which are the interface that, where the interface is connected on my freeness so that's pretty much it just click save and close and after a few seconds that'll come up now on here you can see that it's timing out on the network at the moment um, it's come back up online here it takes a few seconds and then you'll see the network traffic coming back onto the um, freeness here move that over there also just um, save the configuration on the switch as well and there you go so it's um, back again right and that's pretty much it so hopefully that helps you out um, like I said at the start of the this tutorial if you're having issues on your network um, you know streaming media and stuff it's a bit choppy or pauses or something like that um, assuming you've got other things going on in your network like you're copying files or you've got a, maybe you've got another PC um, then maybe link aggregation could work for you on your network um, if you're only using one PC to a file server then it's likely to be um, maybe your network switch or your cabling or even the hard drive in the PC or the server itself is not keeping up with the network um, there's, there's lots of things it could be but um, like I said for my case I was uh, wanting to use more devices on the network so link aggregation is what's worked for me. Alright well hopefully that's of some help and um, yeah talk to you next time. Cheers!